Larry, we have said that on Monday we're going to start doing the review of the shy, and it comes yeah. on this Sunday on Showtime. Yeah, man. Yeah. Where they release a trailer for episode, one. and we're going to check out episode one trailer for the shy right now. Are you pregnant? No, fool. Ooh, thank God. If I was, it wouldn't be yours. <laughs> Shit, you never know. I stared at the girl too long, she gave pregnant. <laughs> Stop staring at me, then. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm nervous about leaving next year. Really? Thought you'd be ready to get the hell out of your mama's house. I'm just not excited about leaving home, you know? Being around a bunch of white people, I don't know. And I don't love track that much. I don't know. These sound like bougie problems to me. I'm serious. I want to stay here. And do what? A bunch of whack-ass dudes who wind up getting pregnant by one of these motherfuckers. End up working at CVS the rest of your life. What's wrong with that? Look, who cares if you don't like track? Use that shit to get up out of here. Don't be afraid to leave because you're just too scared to see what's up. I'm not scared. No, no, no. Yes, you are. And that's cool. You're supposed to be scared sometimes. I like I mean, it. I I love every everything about that trailer. I love because it relates to what really happens in real life. Yeah. I love that cast. Man, Emmett, that was Keisha. They had a thing, and every now and then, a friend, when you're feeling down and out, and you could possibly be making a decision that in your life or make your life more difficult than what it should be, you need a good confidant to sit there and tell you, No, you need to do this. This is what yeah. you should be doing. And I know some people are going to bash me for saying CVS is a fine job. Now, F that. You can do better. When you, yeah. in her when, situation, she's got a track scholarship. Don't yeah. waste it. Get your education and get something better than that. And Larry, you don't know this, but I moved to Greensboro. Mm -hmm. I was going to stay in Greenville, work the hospital. I was too afraid to move to Greensboro to take a job that was going to pay six figures. I was hmm. literally taking half the money to stay where I was at until a friend of mine was like, Lamont, you can play Madden online with us. Get up out of here. Then a mentor friend like Lamont, if it goes bad or you feel like you just can't stand it, you can always come back. So I can relate to Emmett being that good friend and her receiving yeah. that information from him because she's a good friend. I give it to you now. Yeah, that was that was a I don't know who wrote that scene, but man, I really like that. Just that, you know, that little back and mm -hmm. forth. It just seemed so natural the way young kids would talk. And, you know, even if I don't know the language that they're using today, I mean, we've all been young and you understand that sort of sentiment, that sort of playfulness that's always there, even when you're talking about serious stuff and like, you know, just joking, talking about pregnancy. And he's talking about if I just look at a girl too long, she gets pregnant. And she laughs and says, stop looking at me then. I mean, it's just it's one of those things. I don't want to be a grown man and use the word cute, but it was cute, you know. It, it's it's a it's a yeah, it's yeah. it's one of those yeah. things that I don't know. I just thought it was really good writing, but I, I'm looking forward to this season because it seems like they're moving in a little bit lighter space. I mean, even though it's it's still got a lot of darkness to it. The first season of this show was mm -hmm. so dark. I didn't know if I was going to make it past the first, you know, past the first episode because I watched the first episode. I didn't go back to watch the second episode for like two weeks. It was so heavy. I mean, it was it was depressing and hard to watch. It was really emotional. It was just it was too much. I was like the first episode was just too heavy. So I'm glad to see they're starting to move into a lighter space for some of it. And uh you know they're dealing with oh, some real issues. Don't let them fool you. Don't don't for let some them of it. Fool That's what I said for I, some of it. I, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah, think I need a little break. It's I gonna need a be deep, break. man. 
I can take the deepness. I just need a little break. I need a little, 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 little okay. pockets of levity in there, just to hold you over until you get to the yeah. next, uh, next spot. But I can, I can, I, you know, I understand what she's, what she's talking about. She's not sure she wants to go away, and she's, you know, that's one of those things I think that's challenging for a lot of folks, a lot of black kids, is that if you've never gone to school with a bunch of white people. And now all of a sudden you're looking at going away to college. And even if someone's offering you a scholarship, it's like, yeah, you get to go to college, but now you have to go and live amongst not just new people, but a new type of people, people that you don't are familiar with. And the people and what you are, what you do know of them isn't particularly positive in, in a lot of cases. I mean, when you think about young kids that are coming out of out of urban areas that haven't been around black people, the white people that they've engaged with are generally are negative. You, you, they, they're around police officers. You know, maybe there's a firefighter that comes when somebody died or got shot. You know, you have a teacher who maybe you didn't like, or a principal that you didn't like, or you know, it's all it. it a lot of the people that you that you see that are white just aren't exactly what you would think of as someone you want to hang out with. So to go to college with a whole bunch of those folks could be a little unnerving. So it's I, you know. There's been a lot of talk saying black kids do better if they go to black universities for undergrad and then go to uh, and then go to white colleges for grad school. So I don't know if that's still true. You know, maybe there's more maybe there's more people going to going to schools that are integrated now. So it's not such a big issue. But I mean, I feel her. I feel her on that. I hope she, I hope she uh, I haven't watched the show, obviously, because it's not out yet. But I hope she makes the right choice and ends up going. Hopefully she doesn't get pregnant or killed because, you know, these shows like to take somebody right on the cusp of getting out and then destroy them. And then you're left like, what? <laughs> you know? Yeah, man. I did. I did a video um, where I prophesize what I think is going to happen to her. And I'm not going to spoil when, as as the episodes come through and we do our reviews, I'll talk about that. So we'll move, move on beyond. And now, Larry, it's oh, wait, wait. time. First story of the day for more. Yeah, go for it. Oh, I was going to say one last thing is that Candy Burris is in this season. And yeah, I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> if y'all haven't watched it, if you if you don't know, it's something to look forward to, apparently. <laughs> and she's having a very she's supposed to be having a very hot and steamy sex hmm mm, and, I, and Larry's real girlfriend is up here too Lala Larry Food oh, oh, he's on, a Lala man. fan no. that's, his, that, that's, his, that's his sweetie no. pie I'm not a hater Larry I'm like him extra hater. plastic oh but, no uh -uh. Yeah, yeah. Don't let Larry no. fool you. When Larry pull up the KFC and they ask him Dude. how he want his wings, he don't say extra. He say extra plastic. That's how no. he like his women. I'll extra take it. Plastic. What was homegirl's name no. from Power? Uh, um, the politician chick. What was her name? Um, uh, Ramona. Ramona. Yeah, Ramona. I'll, take some, I'll take some naturalness right there. Some 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 Ramona. Or I'll I'll take Tasha too. You know, yeah. Tasha might need to get rid of that lace I front and just do will. something else, but I'll take her, you know. Man. 